In Excel, an advanced filter is a quick way to pull copies of records out of a table. Here I've got a small table with four headings and I've set up a criteria range where I can specify a product and how many were ordered. And then I will be able to say where on this worksheet I would like those records to be placed. So here I can put juice as the product and upper or lower case won't matter and I'd like to know which orders had 20 as the quantity. To run the filter I go to the data tab on the ribbon and in sort and filter click advance and in this dialog box I want to copy to another location. It's already detected where my table is and there's my criteria range and I want to copy to cell I1. I don't want unique records, so I'll click OK, and those are the juice records with 20 ordered. In most cases, these headings should be exactly the same as the headings in the original table. So to make sure they're always going to match, I just use a link to the table heading. Then if this changes, the criteria range heading will also change automatically. Occasionally though you need to clear out a heading or use a different heading and that happens if you're going to use a formula in the criteria range instead of a text value or a number value. Here I'd like to find orders where the number ordered is different than the number shipped. And the only way to find that is to use a formula. So I would have to cite equals C2 less than greater than, which means not equal to, and click on D2. And this will give me a true or false here, and it will check every record during the filter to see which ones are true. Anywhere that is true would show up in the filter results. If I try and run this now though, with my advanced filter, copy to another location, I don't get any results even though there are some like this one where the number is different. To make this formula filter work, I have to either clear this heading or make it different than what's in the original table. So I could put an ampersand and an underscore so that changes this heading slightly and now if I run it I see all the records where the number ordered is different than shipped. So the headings in the criteria range must match exactly in most cases unless you're using a formula and then use a heading that's different than what's in the main table or clear that heading cell.